morning guys, I am Jessica Nadalek. I am the founder and writer of the April blog and it's on my community. I've tried to do this new updated video several times this morning, so this is going to be hopefully it. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I recently finished my second product review for the blog. And this product review I tried the first time with this video and I put the wrong affiliate information. So. But as it turns out, I have additional information to share with you guys, so this works out if I get this video correctly. My newest product review is on a new product by Honeycoat Colony. It's a CBD topical spray. It is for chronic pain, joints, and muscle spasms. And I wrote about my personal experience as well as added the ingredients to the product. And a interaction that I have with the form formulas of this product, I asked in the review if, as a suggestion, if it could be turned into a cream base. Unfortunately, that can't happen because it would lose its potency and not work as well in a cream base versus a spritz or a spray. Basically, guys, what this product is, it's kind of like body spray, but you put it on the desired areas of pain, and once you apply it, you don't need to reapply it. I know a lot of people go crazy for body sprays and creams and, you know, oh, it smells so pretty. No, this is out of necessity. This is only as when needed, and a little goes a long way. And I would like to share, if you have difficulty with mobility and difficulty um, doing things on your own, and you need help, then the person can wear gloves if they do not want direct contact with this product. So this is the product, this is my review. I did make other suggestions about the pump fixing it because it was a little difficult to get out. And of course the branding. The bottle is a little dark and the font was very small. So I made suggestions there in case they wanted to do some rebranding in the future with the packaging. Um, here you get a list of conditions you possibly could help people with. PTSD, chronic fatigue sy syndrome, um, multiple sclerosis, lupus. Then again, it, it lists all 12 ingredients, which include, include um, lavender and ginger. Lavender is what you, sp you smell when you first spray. And I have to say, guys, it's it really works. I purposely did not use this product for a night to see for the review, and I regretted it instantly because I was up all night with Charlie Horse's spasms and foot cramps, and it was just... I did not get a restful sleep that night. So, here's the review. Here are the ingredients and the possible conditions. It could help somebody that suffers from various things. Or deals with various things. And again, CBD oil will not make you high. It just helps you in relieving pain. I'm just trying to get to my affiliate links because I am also an affiliate with this product, guys. So that means that when you purchase the product from this uh, my webpage and you go on the hyperlinks, which are blue, going a little fast so you can get and you click them here it'll automatically take you to my affiliate page here you can read about the product check it out for yourself and as you can tell you can see why I made the suggestions for the labeling in the bottle in general um, you can check out the product yourself and if you want to give it a try hit the shop tab and what happens is I get a portion of the sale they work closely with, um, Honey Colony works closely with Sale, which is right here. And what Sale does is they connect you with merchants who want to connect with bloggers to sell their products on their websites and blogs. So I will be looking into this further now that I am an official member. But it's a very big deal and a very big step for the 
blog. As you can see right here, it says, I want to promote this merchant on my website. That's how affiliates do it. So that is very exciting. Um, I also wanted to share with you guys. I told you guys in the last video that I was going to be a video vlogger and blogger for the platform Fashion No Boundaries. And they also promoted me to content editor, which basically means I I interact with members in their Facebook group and post and things like that. Basically what I do in my own group for the Avalar, I do for their group. So that is a new position that is very exciting. I also heard from Ebony the Co. Um, I think she said she was the, the co-president of the platform. She contacted me this week and let me know that my debut piece for them will be going up this week. So that is very exciting. I also wanted to give you guys a heads up. Let me see if I can put the there. I feel great. This is it. I also heard from Tammy, uh, the founder and writer of the On Air Advocate. This is her website. I believe this is their website. Let's just see. Yes, this is a, this is also their YouTube channel, which I probably should subscribe to. <laughs> um, She's contacted me via Facebook and because I want to know if she had any, any information for me considering a guest spot in March. She's looking for towards March or April for me to be a guest spot in one of their shows during that time. I don't have any more details other than the fact that she'll contact me some point next week with more information about the show and when I'm going to be a guest. So that is very exciting. Yay. Um, this is their YouTube channel. And this is their website. Oh, they have online courses too. I had no idea. Very nice. How do I get Stitcher on my... I'll have to figure that out. Let me save the page. Hold on guys, I just want to bookmark this page so I know. Because the Abler, the Many Faces of the Able podcast is on Stitcher. So if I can get that app on my blog, that would be awesome. Um, I also wanted to show you guys that too. Hold on one moment. I have a new podcast. It's up right now. Hi, good morning everyone. I just want to jump in really fast and explain. This is the new podcast. It's for cerebral palsy awareness. I specifically talk about the next podcast coming up, which is going to be on March 16th, Saturday afternoon, where I'm going to dedicate an episode to the topic of cerebral palsy. It is the world's um, most well-known childhood disability ever. 17 million people are affected, 
and I am one of them. I have hemoplasia, spastic cerebral palsy, which means it affects my left side. I am a wheelchair user from the time I was four all the way up to now, 36. So you will get a personal story from me and information about the condition and personal experiences from me on that show. I'm specifically doing that show in March because March is Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month. In this little snippet of um, episode, this current one that's currently playing, you'll also hear about a special Facebook event that I am doing with my best friend Roxanne, where we're going to try to raise money for Connecticut's chapter of United Cerebral Palsy. That is happening on March 23rd, the following Saturday. I do not know if it's going to be public or private. I'm assuming private. But if you guys would like me to do a show on Roxanne's products, her 31 products, and what she does, or if you would like to know any further information about the condition of cerebral palsy and how you can yourself help raise awareness, raise funds, out of curiosity, you want to learn more, you've never heard about it before, Check out our show on March 16th. I will be doing a full-length show on that topic of cerebral palsy for Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month, the month of March. Check it out. I will also be doing a spe- special Facebook event. I will share it on all the Abler social media platforms. And, of course, I mentioned it in this episode on the podcast. If you guys would like to know more about that in a separate show, don't hesitate to ask me. Send me a voice message on the podcast. Send me a message on the um, blog here. If you would like to work with me in general concerning this condition or anything else that I work with concerning the blog, don't hesitate to ask. I just ask that you specify what the topic is about in your subject line. So as you can tell, we're on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. That is if you don't have the Anchor app. The Anchor app is a free download. So, but if you don't feel like downloading that, you can check us out on Google Play if you have that as well. And of course, Stitcher, which I just bookmarked. But that is that, guys. And um, also, the guest blog post that I'm doing for KRY, I believe that's how you say it. That's coming up at the end of the March. At, at the end of the month, this month, the editor said she'd contact me when it goes live. So that is a good, that is another thing. I am also working on some things on the, on the side for the blog. I don't want to get into just in case it doesn't come to fruition. But I am extremely, extremely busy, guys, with the blog in general. And, of course, my writing projects on the side. Um, the newest topic coming up for the blog probably won't be till mid-April. And again, I've chosen the topic of personality disorder or DID. That is coming up. I have the additional information. I collected all the information and resources for that topic. But again, that probably won't be till at least mid-April. I'm going to start working on it so that I can have it up at least before the end of April or early May. I know that's late, guys, but unfortunately I've had so many things going on at the same time. All good related to the blog, and of course outside of the blog, and my writing. And I just want to make sure everything gets in order and ready to go. Alright, guys? Also, for the next YouTube video, March 9th, for my YouTube audience, I will also be doing a specific topic video on the topic of cerebral palsy. So for those that don't listen to the podcast or don't follow the Facebook um, event or anything like that related to this topic that's coming up that I've you know mentioned prior, you will get your own video. It will be specifically for the YouTube crowd. I will share it on the Ablers, all the Ablers platforms. As always, so that every audience gets a chance to learn about this condition. Again, it's cerebral palsy. 
most common childhood disability yet. 17 million are affected. I am one of the 17 million. March 9th, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to pre-record it so I can work on the edits and have it up by March 9th so you guys can check it out. Alright, so I will see you guys then. Also, for my rating on the side, I have a new poem out with the Coffeehouse Writers called For a Moment. That is out now. I have a new collaboration piece coming up for Unwritten. That is coming up on the 11th. That will be live on the 11th of March. And, of course, the prompt that I do, monthly prompt for Creative Cafe, which is another platform. Creative Cafe and the Coffeehouse Writers are both platforms that are run through Medium. And the Creative Cafe is another platform that I use for my poetry. And they do monthly prompts. Their prompt for March has not come up yet. But once that's up and my, my poem related to that post is live, I will let you guys know there. Alright guys, so that is that for all my information and updates. And I will see you guys again on, the, on March 9th with a special YouTube video dedicated to the condition Cerebral Palsy for Cerebral Palsy Month of March. Thank you guys. Have a great day and a great work week. Bye-bye.